624 and CBS 46 is your school authority for children who have not returned to the classroom yet. Many families are still contemplating when that should be. Well, we got some insight from an Atlanta pediatrician who says it's really all about training your children. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm reports. It is definitely a major concern in our, in our family, in our discussions during um, my house visits. Dr. Dawn Cardwell is the medical director of HEAL, which specializes in house calls and televisits. She says children with underlying disorders should not return to school in person right now, but for healthy kids whose parents want them back in school, she has lots of advice. For starters, teach them all about hygiene and how to properly wear a mask. So I also want to train the younger ones as far as what is six feet away from someone? What does that look like? You may actually want to mark it off on your kitchen floor in the hallway. Parents should wake up with their children and check to see if they're ill. Every morning you should check your child's temperature. Parents should not send a child to school if he or she has a temperature over 100.4, complains of a sore throat, or has a cough, headache, or shortness of breath. She says, remember, what you might think is a common cold for your child could very well be the coronavirus. You'll listen to a four-year-old, five-year-old, six-year-old, and if you ask them to sing the happy birthday song and they don't sing happy birthday to you, rather they sing happy birthday to you, that should be a major concern to you. She says most schools are set up now to allow students who are at home to not miss a beat. That's a great thing. These are things um, later on when COVID-19 is over that there are certain things we're going to be pulling from this pandemic. And studying online can help these children to also continue their education so there's not such a big break. In Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.